dear students uh, i hope all are fine and safe in your home uh, the, regarding to our elective paper material handling and facilities planning uh, actually in class we already covered module 1 and module 2 or almost full and i already shared the notes for all six modules in our google classroom apart from that uh, for 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 your deeper study i given important question and answers in four parts four files actually that is very important for you in exam point of view you have to be study every questions and answers given in that material along with that i also wish to share the video lectures based on module 3 module 4 and module 5 in in these days for which help you for uh, for a better study so today we are starting with module 3 uh, actually module 3 is a very small module which only have four elements uh, starting with plant safety uh, then moves to elements of industrial safety almost same plant safety is also means industrial safety so what is industrial safety and what are the elements of industrial safety then moves to accidents what are the causes of accidents how we can prevent accidents and finally the pollution and what are the major causes of pollution so these are the these are the four parts in uh, in this module so actually we will cover in three video video lectures a small video lectures for just it's just only for uh, for for as i eight for for a better study yesterday i already shared to you the uh, reference books and different nptel videos also for those who wish to read textbook please also use that material so we will start our first uh, video in module 3 now so what is a plant safety uh, actually we all know the term plant safety or industrial safety means actually we will try to avoid any in injury or any hazards in any industry continuous and healthy living without injury inside the plant actually that's the plant safety so basically it's a freedom from danger and harm uh, how we can improve plant safety of course with improvement in working conditions and other facilities in industry <clears throat> it's a responsibility of the management to ensure safety every worker safety of every employee of industry either it may be a normal foreman to a, a senior manager whatever it's a responsibility of the management to ensure each employee work in industry is working in a safe working conditions so what are the elements of an industrial safety what are the industry in elements of plant safety usually for a better for for as a rhyme it will say that the three terms are the safety health and environmental usually the c s means safety s means health and the term environment actually for ensuring industrial safety we have to ensure the coordination between three three dimensions safety health and environment three are uh, uh, have connected together and also we, we need to ensure three in a uh, together so what is safety as we already said safety will be considered for mechanical side basically or or legal angle every 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 equipment we are we are using in industry should be safe every worker is working in, in, in industry should be safe uh, so we, we need to avoid any damage damage to both equipment as well as the workers that the safety dimension about health health is uh, more depend on the workers dimension we need we, we have to ensure that the workers which work in industry have a little have have a facing little hazard of sorts maybe they are working in a uh, industry with having a exposure of different type of lights emission radiations whatever many other things can be there so we have to ensure that the the health condition of the worker should be stable and they, they they are safe they are healthy they are working in a healthy environment which reduce all type of source of hazards which reduce which eliminate or reduce all source of hazards that the dimension of health and environment uh, we, the, the management also has to, has to ensure that environment factors like improper 
layout improper physical and uh, atmospheric conditions uh, improper arrangement of material improper method of doing improper housekeeping that type of things should be avoided and en environment should be safe for both employees as well as the equipment other facilities used in industry so for ensuring industrial safety we have to ensure the safety health as well as environment these three terms have to be ensured so how we will ensure that uh, basically we will ensure the industrial safety through different industrial or plant safety programs plant safety programs through basically it's used to identify the possible cause of accidents and uh, will study them in deep and will try to take the different steps to avoid and prevent the uh, different causes of uh, accidents so through safety program we will try to eliminate the all causes of accident so uh, if you want to eliminate all causes of accidents in industry the all areas in industry should be covered what are the areas we, we have to be covered the plan layout the plan sh layout should be the best one uh, the proper one maintenance of the equipment have should have a uh, regular uh, periodic maintenance equipment requirement the the related to the safety all equipment should be there Uh, safety department with proper communication there should be a safety department it has to be communicated with all departments in a regular way fire fighting facilities and housekeeping these are the major areas has to be uh, has to be touched to ensure that we will eliminate all causes of accident so uh, for implementing a proper safety program for implementing a soc proper safety measure we need the support of top management actually the management has to be decide that should decide that this industry should be uh, accident free uh, usually for maintaining the safety activities we need a team or a department upon a person or upon a team which look the safety measures usually in every industry there are team for safety engineers or safety team or safety committee many teams should be there and safety is the uh, responsibility of not only for a team or a employee it's responsibility of all employees in the in industry all employees in the plant should aware about the safety program and training is a very important part uh, we, we have to train the employees how to do the work in a safe procedure safety manner training can be very important Uh, promote good practices good safety practices and other area by uh, by doing all this only we can ensure that industrial safety is properly monitored in an industry so what are the three phases of safety program you know, the first one can be self awareness we had i said uh, the safety is the, is not only issue of a single person or single department it's a issue or it's a responsibility of the all employees in the industry so proper awareness should be given uh, safety awareness should be given through training uh, through different postures whatever it may be uh, second phase will be safety implementation after training we have to be implemented the proper safety practices and third will be safety program maintenance uh, we have to be ensure that uh, uh after implementing the safety measures it a, a feedback should system should be the right we, we need to check that the the employee and all departments are mm, is doing or doing or in a right way so safety program maintenance is a feedback system to ensure that the all all measures we implemented is doing in a right manner so the first part is say, training part then implementation then third part feedback and correction that is maintenance part so what are the elements of industrial safety for example it is very important what are the elements of industrial safety uh, there are many elements are there. the first element is need for safety the first element of industrial safety is need for safety uh, we has to be ensure that every in every employee Has to be ensure, has to know that the need of safety. 
safety is necessary for the benefit of the employee. We need to educate the employees that we are implementing these rules for the benefit of you, benefit of uh, each person like you and your team, whatever it may be. And also, we have to be ensure the management, also we have to ensure the other departments that uh, through the proper safety practices, we can increase the rate of production, we can reduce the cost of production, we can reduce the damage. So, everyone in the industry, including top management, uh, the, the middle person, the lower person, every should be, everyone, everyone should be understand the need of safety. That is one thing. That is uh, it's, it's something called uh, a free, free arrangement. Then we need an organization for safety. Organization for safety basically means we need a person, we need a team which is in charge of uh, safety purposes. Usually, uh, shop supervisors is responsible for safety of every every foreman working there. We need a uh, person officer for safety, we need a safety department, whatever it may be there. Some persons or a team should be there which ensure that the safety policies are going on in a in a smooth manner. That is organization for safety, a safety team, a person or a team which looking looking at the all the safety measures. Third thing can be a safety committee. A safety committee may be a, a safety committee is a, a it's a it's a it's a committee which uh, having members from all level of an industry from basic the flow workers, executives, supervisors and also some representatives from management team. Safety committee is a, a coordination team where the foreman or basic workers can uh, give a suggestion to how, how we can implement the safety uh, based on the practices. Uh, they are feeling that the, some dangers are there, then, then they can give a feedback in safety committee. So the safety committee will ensure through proper coordination with the management and higher authorities that, that uh, situations can be avoided. And fourth area will be safety programs. Uh, through the term safety program, it means that it's a, it's not only a, it's, it's not an event. It's all activities we are doing in industry to find, discover the cause of accidents. Uh, actually, through the safety program, I already explained the safety program. Through safety program, we'll try to eliminate all causes of all causes of accidents. We will try to study. We will try to. Uh, study different plan layouts, we will try to study equipment, we will try to study different methods of doing, we will try to study about material they are using, all possibilities we will study and we will try to avoid all possible causes of accidents, that is the safety program. Uh, I, I already discussed for safety program we need uh, a, a support from management, one team for that, everyone should be aware, train, promote safety practices. I already explained about safety program and fifth part is the safety instruction and training. We, ha we have to give a proper training to all levels for safety team. We have to give a training for a for a uh, safety committee. We have to give a training for all persons from the uh, from supervisor, foreman, whatever. Everyone need a training and we will have the management has to ensure that everyone is trained and updated. Six elements uh, the, from the uh, starting to last. These are the six elements we have to be ensure in a safety industrial safety. The six elements in industrial safety. So, uh, what are the measures of safety in industry? Uh, uh, we, we, every 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 uh, after implementing the. After we, I, after implementing the, all the safety measures, how we how we will ensure that the these uh, industries are following. Everyone is following the uh, the four uh, measures. Usually, we will take a safety policy, importance of safety, safety training, protective equipment. Some parts we already discussed uh, now. Just for, for more clarity, every industry should have a safety policy. Uh, the safety policy will be a statement uh, which gives the direction of the management uh, regarding the regarding the the practices they have to be do. Uh, usually, it's a it's a rhyme or it's a it's a policy. Usually, will give 
uh, based on based on the feedback based on the feedback from many expert we will create a safety policy and every in every post in industry has to be follow the safety policy we are creating that's the first part second part is the importance of training importance of safety we have to be uh, ensure that uh, every post is trained we have to be ensure that everyone has to be aware that the responsibility of each and every employee we have to avoid all unsafe working conditions we have to be give training to each employee for for doing the job in a professional way in all manners we we have to ensure the importance of safety and safety training we already uh, explained the need of safety training we have to give safety we have to form a safety committee we have to form a safety team and we have to give training to both safety team and safety committee top management different workers through proper training only we can ensure that they are aware of safety so these are uh, the last one is protective equipment we will discuss that in next video in little more deeper so uh, we we have to ensure that every employee is wearing using different protective gear it may be googles to protect their eyes can be helmet to protect the uh, head it can be gloves to protect their hand can be can be shoes to protect the foot whatever according to the working condition we have to ensure that everyone in the industry is using safety gears for safety of their own safety so in this lecture actually we are discuss about the industrial safety and what are the different elements of industrial safety this is the first lecture in module 3 in the next lecture we will discuss about accidents industrial accidents thank you